Today, I'm going to show you guys a simple formula that you can follow to create really dark, kind of classic sounding melodies. And I'm also going to show you how to create crazy bounce with your 808s. So I have a really cool trick that I'm going to show you guys, so make sure to stick around for that. Just using a BPM of 155, 145 to 170 is solid for these types of beats. And the first instrument we're using is just a piano. This is from my bank, Grailed's. And if you want to make something like this, it's very simple. You just want to pick out a couple notes that sound good together. So in this case, just these four. Just to add some rhythm and kind of change it up, just add one other note onto one of these. And how I picked out this note is drop this down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Basically a chord without a middle note right here. Then from there, you basically do the same thing again. So we'll just drag this out right here and then drop this down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just gonna pull it out like this. And then we're gonna basically just build a chord off of it. So right here would sound good. Add another note right here. Drag this out here. And then you're just gonna drop one note down like this. This will always sound good in a chord progression and make it sound dark. And then just add a note right here to add a little bit of variation. Throw some halftime on it. And yeah, I know this sounds like it might get a little annoying, but don't worry, we're just getting started. Now, because we use halftime, you might be thinking most of these notes are pointless, but they're not. Step two, you're gonna wanna get some sort of like kind of textured sound. I have a flute here from my bank textures. Let's just copy over this pattern right here. Typically you wouldn't you know, make chords with a flute, but I do what I want. All right, so now on the step three, this is where we start to add some other sounds and kind of just fill up the space and make it a bit less repetitive. And the simplest way to do that is we're gonna slowly just add a bunch of different instruments. We got this bell sound, it's called Digi from my bank Summer Nights. Boom, really, you just trace over the other notes and the key is right at the end of each loop have just a slight change every four bars. Like watch how big of an impact just this one note change right here makes. Crazy. And then next I got this really dark guitar sound. It's called Plate Electric from my bank textures. If you need electric guitars, textures is the bank to get. So right here, I've got this synth sound from my bank, it's called Nirvana. Do some effects on that and it actually made it sound cool. So I added a tremulator, this is gonna make it wobble. The shaper box, cause I don't like everything to sit in the middle of the mix. I feel like having the shaper box come and put things in both ears just sounds good. Next, you want to use some sort of a dark bass line. I've got the black bass right here from my bank Blacklight, and it's just perfect for any dark beat. I want to fight somebody. Then I did add this little vocal sample from Arcade. Show you the drums real quick and let me show you the 808 trick because it's pretty fire all right so once you got something like that let me show you guys some sauce for your 808s and this is just my triple x 808 
amped up. So basically what you're gonna need is two 808s. So we got this 808 right here, and then we got the same one right here. All you need to do for the same one right here, you wanna go in here, press reverse, and you wanna turn everything off, and then just turn the hold knob all the way up. Then what you're going to go in and do, and this is typically easier if you just kind of fill up your 808 on this pattern regularly, and then pick out spots, that's what I ended up doing right here. I was like, oh, so let me just move this drum right here, and this one right here, and then some of these at the end. So we're going to put down two notes on the same spot as the note you took out from your original pattern right over here. For one of them, it's just gonna be a regular note, but you're gonna turn the velocity all the way off. And the next one, all you're gonna do is click this button right here, and on an octave that's higher, put the note down in the same spot, and that's gonna give you that reverse kind of slide sound. And then right here, all I did was I just moved a couple notes up an octave, and that gives it that cool. And because of reverse, it sounds, you know, a little bit cooler, because it's reversing into a non-reversed note on a different octave. Yeah.